The work he's done has contributed to developing Iowa's soybean industry to be competitive and strong. Hello and welcome to this edition of the State of Soy. I'm Aaron Putzi and I'm visiting with Myron Stein. Myron serves as the president of Stein Seed Company. And first of all, thank you, Myron, for welcoming us to your farm here near Adel. You know, there's been a lot going on with Stein Seed Company around your 45th anniversary, and you truly, as a company, have a lot to celebrate. Yeah, yeah, we do. You know, really, my family's been involved with uh, soybeans for over 70 years with the, with the industry. Uh, my grandfather started the company, and then my father began research uh, about uh, 60 years ago, and then our brand, we started about 45 years ago. The thing about agriculture in this industry is it is always evolving. But one thing you have never evolved from is your focus on the things that matter to the farmer. And your history was built on really looking at yield, standability, and that has remained unchanged to this day. Yes, so, so my father was instrumental in developing multiple breeding programs, which did exactly that. Their, their criteria was yield, standability, that, that's your low hanging fruit, and then you would look at other traits beyond that. So he started doing that in the late 60s, and then by the late 70s, he had some, some good material to look at, and then we started Stein Seed Company. Today, those different breeding entities, they license to other companies, and they also provide genetics to Stein Seed Company. The work he's done over the years has, has contributed to uh, developing, uh, especially Iowa's soybean industry, to be competitive and strong. If your breeding programs are functioning properly, they're, they're making more efficient plants. And what I mean by that is, you know, the biomass in a, in a plant today is probably not much greater, or maybe even less than the biomass of a plant from 30 years ago, yet your yield's higher. Something else we do is we do all of our work in narrow rows. And we do narrow row work because we're trying to stress those plants. We're trying to develop uh, genetics which like that environment. Probably at the end of the day, if more growers went to narrower rows in both corn and soybeans, that's a better way to control erosion and, and a number of things. So the company I know is continuing to evolve, Myron. You've long staked your claim, and rightly so, on the Stein has yield, but you're also, as you look ahead, taking a, a wider perspective too at the solutions that you're bringing to growers based on their unique needs. Our brand promise is that we want to help farmers make money by maximizing yield with the best corn and soybean genetics that are out there. So we feel like our breeding programs are bringing those genetics to, to the industry, but we now want to help that grower take that individual acre and maximize performance on that acre. We've established a really robust agronomy team to help our sales group uh, do that. And if, if we stay with that objective and we work hard at it, it's good for us, it's good for the, the farmer, it's good for the soybean industry, you know, the, the whole thing. You know, I think about when dad was growing soybeans and farming and, you know, a 35, 40 bushel an acre average, he was pretty pleased with. Now we've advanced, where last year we were at 58 to 60 bushel acre for a, for a statewide average. Let's say we're standing here in another 15 to 20 years. Where do you think we can go? Well, that's not going to stop. That'll keep on going up. You see people today with over 100 bushel soybeans and you know, having a field that averages over 100 bushel. Um, when I grew up on the farm, that would have been unheard of. I have faith that the whole industry you know, ourselves and, and our competitors will do things to keep that going. And so someday, 100 bushel beans are going to be commonplace, without a doubt. Which brings the uh, emphasis, too, to the other side of the equation, which is finding markets for the soybeans we grow. And again, Stein and its leadership in developing that production, it means organizations like Iowa Soybean Association need to be finding those markets for where to sell them. Reporting for this edition of the State of Soy, I'm Aaron Putzi. Progress is a human invention. We look at our world and we imagine how to make it better. That's the power of human ingenuity. We can redefine what's possible. At Bayer, we're shaping the future of agriculture. 
like farms where all life grows together. It's not impossible, it's progress. 